Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be unboxing and a real life review of the Ezra SP01 phone strap. Now this is a silicon uh, phone strap which actually has the phone holder and the strap also, so which goes around your neck. Now you can use it in different ways. It's got a hook here, so you can uh, put it somewhere else instead of a, a neck strap. You can put it somewhere else or you can even replace the neck strap. You can put your regular office neck strap on this and then use it that way. So let's see how uh, good this is going to be, how strong this is going to be. Let's take a look at the box itself first. So this is the box. This is how they present it. Uh, it's for 109 rupees from the DIY store. Uh, I, I actually bought it from the DIY store in Season Small Pune. So if you have any DIY store around, you can get it from there. If not, uh, if I get a link, uh, online link for Amazon or Flipkart or anywhere like that, then I will put that in the description. So let's go ahead, open this up. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this. Let me remove this from here. Okay, so this is how the phone holder itself uh, looks like. So it's that thin. So I don't know how... Now you see, this is what I'm afraid of. Now you see it's whitening. Okay, the good thing though is when you leave it, it's going back to normal. So this is normal. When you pull it, it will whiten because uh, it's stretching. But normally uh, low grade ones, when you leave it, uh, the whiteness will still remain. So this is going back to your regular color. Looks like it's good material. I don't know. Let's go ahead and test it. So this is how they made it. You can actually remove this if you want uh, or replace this with a different one, different strap. But ideally this looks fine. Uh, I'm not very sure about the strength of this one because this is very small. Uh, if you want, you can uh, replace this with a stronger one or maybe change the strap itself. So this is how it looks like. This is the card holder. Let's try putting the card. Actually, not now. Let's put the phone and then put the card. So let's try putting a phone into it. Now this is an iPhone. Pull one strap. Two, three, four. Okay, that was easy. Okay, so this actually has a lot of give. Uh, it's holding the phone properly. It is actually covering a lot of the area. So that means the phone will not fall. So, oh, that is strong. I didn't expect this to be that strong. So they've cleverly designed it. So the weight is actually distributed. The pressure is actually distributed properly and you see the whitening is coming up but I think when we remove it, it will become alright. Let me put this back again. Okay, so uh, now how do you make it small? Uh, if you want to make the strap small, you have to just pull these two like that and it will get small. Now, because it's going around your neck, this will grip your neck and this will not slip. So, if you pull it like this, it will go back. But if you put it around your neck, it should not go back. Uh, it should stay in place. So, we'll be testing that after we do this unboxing. Uh, we'll go out and then we'll be testing it and seeing how good this is. So, that's how it is. Let's change the phone now. Let's put a slightly bigger phone. Or, before that, let's try something else. Let's try a phone with a uh key ring at the back actually it is not a key ring o-ring at the back uh so this is for holding the phone like that so it doesn't fall off but this is going to cause a little bit of problem because this is going to poke into this so let's see if that goes in went in no problem but if you have a ring like that or anything which is protruding out at the back uh i don't think uh, putting a card here will be a good option because the card will get damaged okay let's remove this now let's try something like this. Now I, I have a, a phone uh, stand over here, but it's thin, it's flat. Hopefully this should not affect it. Now this is a big phone. Uh, this is the average phone that you get nowadays. I have a bigger one there, but we'll be testing this first. Uh, even though you can see a little bit of stretch marks here, here, here. So the main stretch marks are coming over here. But it's still able to cover it, no issues. That's really nice. So it's very strong. I didn't expect this to be that strong. Now let's do the ultimate test, the biggest phone. Now this is a big phone. You can see from the size itself. Okay. It's almost seven inches with the cover put in. 
that's so good okay so i did not expect this to actually fit in that easily with a big phone but it actually fit in on a big phone also and it's pretty strong so i really liked how flexible this is uh it actually okay so now the test uh now you see the with the big phone you see a little more whitening over here this this part is being stretched a lot but the test is when you actually remove this will it still be white or will it go back to normal if it goes back to normal then it's a good quality rubber uh if uh, it does not go back to uh red the same color then that means the uh, uh that area will break eventually as in not eventually as in very soon so let's go ahead remove this okay so no whitening at all so very good quality now let's see if the card fits in now ideally if you want to put a card it's recommended if you don't have anything like that uh or especially like this then you can put a card the card will slip in easily because this isn't silicon okay so even though it looks like you can put more than one card uh it's only made for one card uh, if you put more than one it will get stuck you see it is actually gripping this card itself so much so maybe a metro card or a bus card or something like that or maybe your uh, access card office i access card something like that but don't put your credit card and all here that will get damaged or uh, if people see you walking around with this and a credit card on it then they will want to steal it so ideally i would avoid putting a credit card or debit card or anything over here so that's how it looks like uh, let's go ahead test it uh, let's take it out and then see how strong it's going to be around the neck and how it actually looks around the neck so okay, guys, so let's go ahead and do the real life test now. So I'm going to use a six inch, six, uh, basically six point eight inch Poco F1 phone with a, a rinky cover on it. This is a military grade cover, so this is also a little big. So this is going to be somewhere around six point five inch. So that is the general size nowadays. So iPhone fits well, but I wanted to use something which is at least a little bigger than six inch. So let's go ahead and put this. Now it fits well. You don't have to struggle uh, to put this in. It goes in very well. Now I have a, a phone stand at the back because of that this protrudes. So if you put a card in between, that will bend a little. So I'm not using a card. Now let's go ahead and put it around the neck. Now I don't want it to hang that much. So basically, it's gonna hang like this, like that. So it's going to go on your stomach. But I want it to be a little up. So what I'll do is I'll pull this strap like this. Now, uh, if I just generally keep it like that, it will go down. But once it goes around your neck, it gets uh, the grip from your neck. So that should help. Let's see how good that's going to be. I don't think it's going to uh, be good with heavy phones, but still. Okay. So I've kept it here like that. Now you see it's right here, just above my stomach, actually on the top of my stomach around here. So let's go for a walk and then see uh, where this will end up. Uh, let me at least take around uh, one round and then we'll see. Okay, so I walked for uh, 1.4 kilometers. So uh, this has not moved much. It has gone down a little from here till here that much. It has stopped going down all uh, over here. It has grabbed my neck as you can see. Uh, and it, it is pretty comfortable. It, you don't feel uh, like this is actually pulling uh, against your neck or anything. It's quite comfortable. Now, it depends on how heavy your phone is. If you have a heavy phone, then you would have a little bit of problem. Uh, this will go down faster. If you have a light phone, then it will remain uh, there for a longer period of time. But eventually, it is going to slip down. Uh, the other option is you can actually tie it. Uh, you can uh, keep it to a size that you want and then tie it at the back. Then it will not slip down. So, very good. Very good uh, strap. I really liked this option. Now, I can even use it to shoot. So when I'm uh, going for a walk and stuff, I can actually use it like this with a different camera, obviously, uh, because this is blocking this camera over here. So something which has camera here or here, it'll be fine. So all in all, excellent uh, product for 109 rupees. I really like uh, like this. Now I will be using it in different scenarios. Uh, I will be using it for a longer period of time to see if the silicone strap is going to irritate or going to leave rashes and stuff. Uh, so I'll be. Uh, commenting after maybe one one or two weeks uh, in case I have any issues with it. So that's basically it. That's it for this real life review of uh, the phone strap. 
Now, if you need any further assistance, if you need any uh, queries answered, uh, you can go ahead and comment. And uh, uh, my information is available in the description and at the end of the video. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment. And I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.